Welcome back to my channel guys. It's time for another manga chapter review. Welcome once again guys. Today marks, I think, the first day that I'll be out on vacation. Uh, I've tried my best to record as much in, as much videos for you guys for the next week. So uh, keep up with all of them. Uh, there is quite a bit of them releasing. So uh, this is going to be on a new normal, the third chapter. Um, the place where I read manga for some reason, posted chapter one, two, and then posted chapter four. Uh, and I had to wait a little longer to get three for some reason and five. So if you haven't seen the first two chapters, go check it out in my channel. I have both of them already out and a pretty good series, especially if you are living in a pandemic. Yes. <laughs> so before I continue uh, with my review, a few things. If you have not done so by now, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Uh, there will be a giveaway video on Monday, so don't miss it. Uh, I've already recorded it. It's it's already ready to roll out on Monday. So make sure you guys don't miss that video. Also, guys, if you want to further support the channel, you guys can always follow me on social media. Uh, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram are the best ways to follow me. Thank you so much for those who do follow me and um, give me your love and support. I, I, I do appreciate uh, every single one of you uh, for that. Uh, all, the, all the links for the fun stuff is in the description below. You guys can also buy cheap anime and manga. There's a link there for that as well. Uh, okay, I think that is it. Um, let's talk about New Normal Chapter 3. Now, New Normal Chapter 3, we we are expecting the picnic of Natsuki and, and, and Hada. And um, we don't really see it then. Uh, in fact, it, it, we just kind of see the start of it. But quite a bit of stuff happens. Uh, first, we kind of see the thoughts of Hada and how Tokyo was sectioned off. It almost seemed like it because um, he's looking out in the window and he's he's like, oh, yeah, that's where Tokyo used to be. <laughs> and now there's this huge wall. And all you see, I think, is a Tokyo Tower. Uh, so for some reason, they sectioned it off or, or not for some reason, for the reason of, of the infection, they sectioned off Tokyo. Um, and, and and again, every chapter gives us a little glimpse of what the world is like now. Again, this is a world uh, post-pandemic. This is after everything and, you know, a lot of people died. In fact, we have a number already of how much people died. I will tell you later, uh, but uh, they, they, it's uh, quite a bit ago where the adults that are 40 and 30 are the ones that were kids when the pandemic happened so uh quite a bit maybe 25 plus years so um this this whole story continues with natsuki arriving uh to school and she's being called to hada and hada doesn't really know why she's being called now we do if you guys remember we do we saw the scene at the end of the last chapter that her parents ate her sandwiches that she worked so hard early in the morning uh, for their picnic. They ate them for breakfast. And we get a little, kind of like a little uh, inner sight view of her parents' conversations while she's at school. And her mom just hit it right in the nail. She's like, uh, I kind of feel like she is wanting to you know live that life that we had uh but the past is in the past we can't we can't go out and eat in public we can't do picnics and that's why we ate the sandwiches so she she hit the 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 he, she hit it right on she she knows what what her daughter was thinking uh maybe not with a guy but she kind of figured that she was going to do something like that so um natsuki is not being called to hara because she's being mean she just doesn't know how to say it and she finally bursted it out um i overslept and didn't make the sandwiches now obviously that's a lie bahada uh in a relief puts his head down it's like oh that's great i made sandwiches though <laughs> so the date is still on they go to class and hada is being uh asked and badgered over and over again by his friends of what's going on between him and atsuki and um eventually it becomes into a brawl uh, this is like right after school and a teacher sees them now again this is post pandemic they're fighting and they're kind of you know doing wrestling things a teacher's like whoa 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 whoa, whoa. 
uh, we we just passed the pandemic, social distancing. So she get, he gets them in trouble for touching them, you know, one another, and they have to watch this educational video. And the educational video talks about the pandemic and how it's bad, and essentially it talks about cover your mouth, make sure your mouth and nose is never exposed, make sure uh, you you eat away from people and and stuff like that. Um, now it does, it, it, this is where we get the little comment of, uh, the world used to be 7 billion people. And then the, the video says that's almost five times the population of today. That means that they're at least at like 1.5 billion people in the world at that time, which is insane, uh, to think that now, obviously the pandemic has not impacted the world at that level yet but it definitely has impacted the world in at a high level uh already so are we too far from it i don't know i don't think i mean i mean i i'm pretty sure we're too far from it right now but is that possible i don't know i don't know if that's possible if we're actually going to reach the number i hope not um but because that's you know that's 80 percent of the population lost that's that's a big number um anyways he sprints away from his friends right when they finish the video and he meets natsuki at the gate and they walk together and they pass this park and the park is like closed and says you know for for obvious not obvious reasons but because of the pandemic it's closed you can't use it and blah blah but she's like well there's this opening in the side we can go through and she finds like a hole in the gate and she goes in and she's like, as long as we're in, you know, no one's going to see us because we're, we're going to go pretty in into the park. So they go into the park and once they're like, I would say a, a, a few meters in already, she takes her mask off and she's like, oh, I can smell the grass, which is, you know, like, uh, okay. <laughs> but again, these kids are raised to wear their mask 24 seven. So then he takes it off. And again, this is kind of like an intimate moment for them because people don't do this with one another. So he's all shy. He's all blushy. Uh, but that's what's going on. Now at the end of this chapter, a, uh, siren goes off and they go, the siren going off. And that's, that's it. So I don't know what the siren is for. Um, but I'm going to assume that the siren is related to the pandemic and it's not a good sign for them, obviously. So we'll see what happens from there to the next chapter. I'll probably review the next chapter while I'm traveling. Um, I might even release it tomorrow because I don't think I have anything prepared for tomorrow when it comes to manga wise. So uh, I might release it tomorrow for you guys. Uh, and, and, and it's definitely a story that I want to continue uh, reading and it's, amazing thank you guys so much for watching this video uh out of 10 i'm gonna give this one i'm gonna raise it to a 7.5 definitely is a unique story um not the best love story per se but because we're living in a era that this could happen in a few decades um it's so interesting to just read it and kind of uh you know fall in love with the whole um kind of like almost like the the side comments and the side information is the more interesting part than the actual story at, at times. Uh, but it's great. It's, I, I like that it's doing that. So yeah, uh, go check it out. There's five chapters out as time of recording, maybe more when, by the time I release this video. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching this. If you haven't done so by now, make sure you subscribe to my channel, comment, like, and share guys. Thank you again for your love and support. And like always don't be strangers. See you guys.